Hey everybody, welcome back to House Photography. Today I want to show you how you can add a little bit of uh, pop to a portrait's face by adding some highlights in a, a few different areas just to kind of give it a little bit more life. So let's get started. I have a portrait right here that I just kind of shot at the beach, uh, senior pictures. What I want to do is I'm going to add a blank layer and I'm going to hit my brush tool, B, and my brush opacity and flow at 100%, and I'm going to add my foreground color as white. I'll zoom in just a little bit, just get a little bit closer, and what we want to do is we want to concentrate on a few different areas. Kind of right here in the forehead, right along the center of the nose, kind of just underneath the cheekbones here, the top of the cheekbones on both sides, and then maybe just a little bit of highlight along the chin. Um, maybe a little bit in here, maybe a little bit of the lips, maybe a little bit of the eyes. Okay, so with my brush tool selected, I'm going to go with a soft brush. And I'm going to just kind of paint a little bit of a highlight. Just kind of, doesn't have to be circular or anything like that, but just kind of paint a little bit of a highlight there. And what I want to do also is go to Blur, my or the Filter Gallery, go to Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we're just going to give it just a little bit more blur, just kind of uh, keep going until it starts moving a little bit. And that might be good. Hit OK. What we're going to do with that is we're going to change that blend mode to soft light. And then we're just going to dial it back. Looking off and on it. And see how it just kind of adds just a little bit of life to the center of her forehead. And we'll go back and probably adjust these a little bit as we go. But let's put another one. Add another new layer. Hit your B for brush tool. And I want to make this just a little bit harder of a brush. And... I'm just going to kind of paint right here underneath the eyes. And I like to do this on a separate layer for each one. That way I have total control of it. Now I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And we'll probably tone that back eh, somewhere right around there. Hit OK. We'll make that uh, soft light also. And we'll tone it back just a little bit. I'm also, if I off and on a little bit, I can see it. it's just kind of coming a little bit in here. So I'm just going to put a layer mask on there. I'm going to have my brush tool again. Hit D for the foreground and background colors to go white. And I'm going to go to black. And I'm going to put my transfer on there. And I'm just going to, with the soft brush, just kind of take away a little bit of that little jut down into the shadow areas. Let's put another one. Hit my brush tool. I'm going to click off my transfer. I'll go down, make it a little bit harder. Oops. We'll get rid of that. We'll go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And hit OK. Make that soft light. And just kind of dial it back just a little bit. Just kind of off and on it. I want to try to keep this darker shadow on the side of her nose also. So I'm going to put a layer mask on there. Hit my brush tool, B. And put my transfer on. And just dial the brush back just a little bit. Soft brush. I'm just going to kind of take away that. and off and on and maybe take away just a little bit underneath here there we go and let's do our chin another one brush I'm 
I'm going to take off the transfer, put it back to 100, and just make a little bit of a, you can do circles, you can do, you know, like a long little stroke or whatever. You can always shape it afterwards. So let's put the blur, Gaussian blur back on it. And let's go just a little bit more maybe. There we go. And make that overlay, or excuse me, soft light. Soft light, there we go. And let's dial that back. You want to make it too overpowering, but once we kind of um, get all these together, we'll put them in a folder so we can off and on everything together and take a look at it. All right, the last one we're going to do is we will make this. I'm going to make a little bit of a harder brush because this particular highlight will be a little bit smaller. And... There we go. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and see how much that blurred. Let's kind of just take it down so it kind of goes more towards the center of the nose. We don't want to get rid of too, too much of what's going on there, but we don't want a squiggly line either. That looks pretty good. Hit OK. Make that soft light. Let's add a layer mask and let's hit the brush tool with X as our foreground color with the transfer. Dial this back just a little bit, make our brush soft. And just kind of start getting rid of some of that little hard area right there at the top. And let's off and on that. Probably dial it back just a little bit. Okay, now let's go into the lips a little bit. With the lips, you can play with the either using soft light or overlay. Let's put another one, another blank layer, B for brush tool. Let's make that uh, transfer off and let's make the flow 100%. Let's just do a small little highlight around there filter blur Gaussian blur we don't want to overdo it too much let's try that it okay and you can see overlay is probably going to add a little bit too much color you can see the difference between there so let's go with soft light and let's dial it back just a little bit. I'm going to zoom out. Take a look. And I'm going to add a layer mask. The brush tool, B is a, or black is the foreground color. I'm going to click on my transfer, dial back my flow just a little bit. And let's just, just kind of tone that down just a little bit in the corners. Feels like it's just getting a little bit too much. Okay. Now what we can do is we can kind of go into We can use the same method to kind of pop the eyes a little bit. So let's do one more. And we'll label this one eyes. And with the brush tool... Click off your transfer, go to 100%, click back on the layer. Let's make it a little bit sharper of a brush and let's just kind of go right around both eyes. Just kind of around the pupil areas, just kind of give it a little bit. And we probably don't need to blur that. It's, it's kind of soft enough, but let's go to overlay. As you can see right off the bat, it really kind of can make the eyes pop. We can try soft light also, which might be a little bit better. 
and we can just kind of dial that back. You don't want to do it like overdo it and make it too unnatural, but just say a little extra of pop in the eyes really really can help things out. You can also do this and add a little bit of shadow. I don't like to do it very heavily so with my brush tool selected again I'm gonna hit X to toggle my foreground and background colors so that foreground color is black and I'm going to click on my transfer tool and I'm going to dial this back just a little bit make a soft brush and maybe alongside the nose a little bit maybe we just kind of add just a little bit of darkening Maybe a little bit underneath here. Maybe underneath the chin just a little bit. It looks a little bit heavy right now, but let's make that soft light and we can see that it kind of bring just a little bit of shadow and shape kind of in certain areas um, maybe it's just a little bit too much I think it's just a little bit too much on the eyes so I'm gonna put a layer mask on there hit my brush tool and let's just kind of take a little away a little bit in this area maybe down here just a little too much Okay, let's put all this, let's keep the eyes out, and let's put all this into a folder. And we can just off and on everything together. And you can see where we're maybe a little bit too bright on the forehead, and maybe just a little bit too bright on the cheeks. So I'm going to go back here. The first one was forehead. Let's dial that one back just a little bit more. And the cheeks, that one. Let's dial that back just a little bit. The next one. Let's dial that back just a little bit. And the nose or the chin. Eh looks fine I think the nose maybe dial back just a little bit and off and on so you can see we can add just a little bit of shape a little bit of pop to the face and then there's our eyes kind of subtle but uh, I think very effective you can really take a, a flat portrait and, and really really give it a little bit of pop all right Here is another one that I already did just to show you. I'll zoom in just a little bit more. Everything's already on a layer. So I can just kind of off and on. Just kind of gives a nice little highlights in a few areas. It doesn't have to be overpowering. You can always dial it back, but sometimes just that little bit of extra shape in the face, forehead cheekbones lips and I think I actually did one for the lips on this one if I'm not mistaken there's the eyes off and on and there's the lips same method just kind of a little bit of highlight doesn't have to be overpowering okay I think that uh, concludes the video for the day. If you guys like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time.